Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2024, of Holy Week. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When shall your patience be crowned if you meet with no adversity? If you will suffer no contradiction, how can you be the friend of Christ? Endure with Christ and for Christ, if you would reign with Christ. Daily Prayer Give me, O Lord, a steadfast heart, which no unworthy thought can drag downwards, an unconquered heart, which no tribulation can wear out, an upright heart, which no unworthy purpose may tempt aside. Bestow upon me also, O Lord my God, understanding to know you, diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you, and a faithfulness that may finally embrace you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Peter's cocky self-reliance will be undone when he hears the cock crow. And though Peter will deny Jesus, Jesus will not deny Peter. Contrition and humility will forge the way to great sanctity for Peter. Similarly, our peace of soul comes from the fact that Christ loves us because of who he is, not because of what we do. We do not earn Christ's love by proving our own goodness, nor do we lessen his love with our failures. We should keep our eyes on the Savior at every moment and in every circumstance of our life. In our temptations, fears, and weakness, we should cry out, My God is now my strength. And when we have sinned, incline your ear to me and save me. The Epistle I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Second Oracle of the Servant of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 49 verse 1 Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 71 Responsorial Verse I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our God, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Gospel one of you will betray me. The cock will not crow before you deny me three times. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 13 verse 21. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go you cannot come, so now... I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, 
Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, I say to you. The cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. Will you lay down your life for me? John chapter 13 verse 38. What an odd question. We can imagine Jesus asking Simon Peter sadly or even sarcastically, Will you lay down your life? John chapter 13 verse 38. Of course, Jesus would lay down his life for Peter, not the other way around. Jesus knew that all his disciples would fall away, that Judas would betray him, and that Peter would deny him. He knew Peter's heart even better than Peter knew himself. Jesus also knew that Peter and Judas had a lot in common. Both were committed followers of Jesus and had been chosen as apostles and both failed Jesus when put to the test. But Peter seems to have had more of a glimpse of who Jesus was. At the Last Supper, rather than calling Jesus Lord as the others do, Judas refers to him as Rabbi. Matthew chapter 26 verse 22. While respectful, rabbi is a term commonly given to men, not reserved for the Messiah. After his betrayal, Judas realizes his sin and falls into despair. Matthew chapter 27 verse 3. Without a clear view of his Redeemer, he loses all hope. Though Peter denied Jesus when it mattered most, he better understood Jesus' nature and what he had come to do. He saw Jesus not just as a friend and teacher, but as the Messiah, the Son of God. Matthew chapter 16, verse 16. And so, confronted by his own weakness, Peter still manages to hold on to hope. Even when Jesus later probed his heart with his threefold question, Do you love me? Peter did not turn away in despair. He answered Jesus humbly, Lord, you know that I love you, and went on to build the church. John chapter 21, verse 17. Jesus knew all along who Peter would become, and that's a message of hope for all of us. Like Peter, we too face situations when we deny and fail Jesus. But Jesus offers hope and possibility to each of us, just as he did for Peter. He asks, Will you lay down your life for me? Because of Peter's example, we can answer yes with great hope, no matter our struggle and sins. Jesus is always ready to restore us and make us whole. Jesus, I offer you all that I am, even my weaknesses. Lord. I trust in your unfailing love. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. 
thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.